Mr. Jason. Happy Thursday. Here we are. Want to sing a song? Yes. You want to sing a song?
a full week courage. so far we have courage we do and so we had a lot we're talking about so Monday we learned that God is with you wherever you go have on God Tuesday. is in control of everything on Tuesday have all on right Wednesday we learned that God only wants us to worship him have and what are we gonna learn tonight well actually no, just yet cuz we got to sing watching over you when you're jumping jumping up and down when you're spinning spinning round and round god seeing everything you do cause he's watching watching over We got some good dancers, Mr. Jason. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, we got do. some good dancers at home too. I think. Yeah, I think so too. What do you think? You good dancers at home? Oh, I think so. I think so. So, Mr. Ryan, tonight we're actually going to take a sidestep here because I know we're talking about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and then Nebuchadnezzar, who we're affectionately calling Neb. He's but a good buddy. He's yeah, you know, like we're, we're learning a lot from Neb. Yes, but we the are. big thing, I think, the big takeaway from Neb is something we call pride and that pride is something when we think we have it in control when we think we're the ones in charge and we have all the answers and we're the ones that make things happen that's when pride starts to get into play and that's what Neb was struggling with you know when he decided to just take all of Israel and move them to Babylon and because build a statue of himself, and build a he statue had to worship. Of himself. right that he, he's the one that's the worship and then you know even with the even with the dreams He's like, you got to tell me what it is. All that's pride because he thought he could do everything. But throughout that, because Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, because they relied on God, they started showing Neb just how much God is in control, actually, and not him. And that brings us to our Bible point for today. God is in control of everything. That is true. Tonight, we're going to learn with our Bible point that God resists the proud but 
honors the humble. So I don't know that I'm clear. God resists the proud and honors the humble. So that means that this is another lesson that Nebuchadnezzar was not being a really good guy. No, but actually, when we're going to go on later, this wasn't about Neb. Okay. This was about his descendant. But I think right now, we'll talk more about God resisting the proud and honoring the humble. We talked about pride. Let's sing a song, then we'll talk about humble. Now, Vacation Bible School. Yes. So maybe we can learn a little bit about the Bible tonight, maybe a memory verse. Well, yeah, and I mean, before we go into that, because the memory verse ties into what the other part of it. You know how we said that pride is all about us thinking we have control. Okay. Well, the, uh, the opposite of pride is what they call humility, being humble. And that doesn't mean that we think like very less of ourselves. It doesn't mean that, you know, we don't think we're important to God. What being humble means is means we're depending on God to do things. Because that's what Daniel and his three friends did throughout this whole time. And they God is humble. in control of everything. Yeah. Because when Daniel and his friends didn't know the dream, instead of trying to figure it out themselves, you know what they did? They went to God. Because they were humble enough to say, God, you know it. So, because God is with them wherever they go. And... When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were challenged with not worshiping that statue because God only wants us to worship him, they had to be humble and trust God to do the right thing. Wonderful. So, again, tonight, though, this is a really important Bible verse for tonight. It's James 4.10, and it talks about the fact that God, God says in his word to humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up because the minute you start to depend on God for things. God then takes control of life and things go a lot better because it's according to his plan because he loves us. And also, God resists the proud and honors the humble. All right. So on that note, we talk about, we talk about this idea that God is not forgotten. We sang that song and we talk about Neb's descendant. Okay. Who he was the king. And he wasn't humble. So Neb's finally gone. Neb's gone. Oh, Neb's goodness. gone. Yeah. He, he learned some lessons. There's actually some more. Book of Daniel's a good book. Keep reading it because there's more in there. <laughs> Neb learned some lessons. But his descendant didn't. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, 
Neb's descendant was so proud. How proud was he? So proud that God actually had to write things on the wall. Like, actually write stuff on the wall for him. But that's for tonight. That's the lesson for tonight. But don't write on your walls at home. No, 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 absolutely not. No, when God does it, it's okay. That's but, right. You know, no, no. And right what happens when we think we're God. That doesn't work right, out. Right, exactly. Good. That's no, no. pride. So don't do it that. It doesn't work out well at all. So don't do that. But, but again, we have to learn. We have to learn to be humble before God. Because Why? God resists the proud, but honors the humble. And you know one way we can show we depend on God? How's that? Singing. That's right. Thursday. I think we're having a great time. I think we are too. Are we having a good time? Let me ask you though, Mr. Ryan. What's that? Do you think anything changes from tonight from what we do in the past three days? No, I don't think so. so what do you think parents think so. should be doing? Right Except now? my hat. My hat, has, hat changed has changed every day. Yes, your hat has changed and I appreciate that. No problem. But what do you think parents should be doing now? Parents should be taking pictures of their kids having fun with this, right? Having fun? <laughs> and doing activities yeah. and singing songs and posting it on our Facebook group, which is the Courageous Faith VBS Facebook group. There it is. <laughs> now, again, tonight we're going to learn how God opposes the proud or resists the proud, but honors the humble. And I really want to know what those words on the wall were that God wrote. So I think we should do some VBS tonight. And God could write the words on the wall because he's in control of, I think, everything, right? Yeah. Right. And remember that he only wants us to worship him. And when we run off the stage, God's still with us because he's with us wherever, wherever we go. We go. Right. All right, All right now, you guys fun. at home, you girls at home, have a good time. Yeah.